if you are in pain today, they will be in pain tomorrow. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alternates between, between days. We shall be patient today. But we will prevent tomorrow as Muslims. Why am I saying this? When the Western world stands with the apathetic regime, and they all say openly, we are in support of them in killing innocent children. It means the world has failed. The international community has failed. The UN Security Council has failed. The East and West has failed in defending innocent children. The UNHCR and all of them have failed. We are not saying names because we want refuge or help from you. But we want to tell you that you have failed in being just. You have failed in looking at the matter with the eyes of justice. Quran calls for justice. Some Muslims are asking, some people are asking, it's Hamas, it's the Palestinians who started the war first. It's them who started. Don't look today or after, before two weeks or three weeks. I want you to go back in 1947. You are staying in your country. You have lands, you have farms, you have everything. You are peaceful. And then the Western world brings people to you. They migrate and come to your land. And after you welcome them to your land, they start fighting you and chasing you out of your land. That is what happened in Palestine 75 years ago. And 75 years ago, people are being killed. 75 years ago, children are being killed with no right of education or anything. How do you want Muslims to accept that? And you call them terrorists after that? Any human, any human can see that this is transgression. This is oppression. Are we going to defend this by just keeping quiet? No. Do you want us to condemn Hamas? We will not condemn Hamas. We will condemn the apartheid regime, which is killing thousands and thousands, not only today in 2023, but they've been doing it for all this year. If we want peace in this world, we have to be just. If you are not just, there is no peace. If the children of Palestine are not safe, the children of Israel will not be safe. And all over the world, we will not be safe. That is for sure. We will not be safe if those children are not safe. Palestine, it has an importance to our lives as Muslims. We have to defend Palestine. We defend Palestine by making dua, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will defend it by donating what we have. We will defend it by our lives. Because now, it's not about war. This is a massacre. This is wiping out families, wiping out generations from their land. We will not keep quiet. If there is terrorism, terrorism is in those who are killing innocent children in Gaza today. Terrorism is to leave two million people without food, electricity, without water, without anything. What do you expect them to do? What do you expect us to feel? The Western world should understand it. Secondly, politically, diplomatically, it's not even coming to sense. It's not sensible that you leave. Already there is turmoil in Ukraine and Russia. A lot of problems are happening in this world. We have a lot of problems to look after. And you still open another door? What are you expecting? So this message is to non-Muslims. And those who think that it is Palestine who started. It's not Palestine, it's not Hamas. These people are in colony. If we just had our independence day in Uganda, just days ago, Uganda and Africa today is independent. But Palestine is not independent. And that's why Nelson Mandela and Gandhi and other people we well, not even Muslims stood for Palestine, for the state of Palestine. And we will stand for the state of Palestine. 
forever and ever until we die. And Palestine will win and it will prevail. And the truth will prevail, inshallah ta'ala, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always said in the Quran. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in the sunnah, he said, لا تزال طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على الحق. A group of my ummah will always prevail. لا يضرهم من خالفهم أو من خبرهم. Those who defy with them will never have. إلى قيام الساعة. They will always prevail and stand on the right path. It was up there. Then the Prophet ﷺ was asked, where are they? He said, they are in they are in Palestine area. That is, they are in Masjid al-Aqsa, they are in Al-Qudus. So we will prevail, inshallah ta'ala, and we will stand firm in defending our Muslim brothers.